welcome back to my channel the uh, as usual today's lesson i am beginning with a question right my question is what you were doing yesterday yesterday when i when i called you right my question is what you were doing yesterday when i called you sorry when i called you right yes uh, i think you you can understand this question what you were doing right not present it's a past what you were doing when i called you right so your answer might be answer might be right i was reading i was reading right or else i was talking or else i was i was playing playing right see you can observe the answers i was reading i was talking i was playing these these sentences was 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 these sentences shows us that a particular action was happening in the past in the past time for certain amount of time for certain amount of time okay let me show that through the timeline see here as in this is a it's a past time it's present time and it's a future time right see at present i'm asking you here present i'm asking you what you were doing yesterday when i called you so your answer is here here i was playing i was playing means in this certain amount of time you were playing clear i hope you are clear with this okay let me say once again uh, we use past continuous tense to show <coughs> past con continuous tense to show an action which was happening in the past for certain amount of time i hope you are clear with what is past continuous tense okay let's understand the what is the structure of the sentences in the past continuous tense okay let's see that okay the our discussion is on past continuous tense right past continuous tense so let's see it's the same as a present continuous one right so uh, in the timeline i shown you past present right so what i shown you the, the certain action will takes place in a certain time in the past right so here we will get two auxiliaries or linking words first one is was second one is were first one is was second one is were we use was for i then he then she then it okay then we use were for you then they then we It means for singular we use was for plural we use were right let's see the syntax subject plus helping verb plus main verb main verb should add get add get suffix ing then object right uh the same question will let, let's take the question was what was our question when i asked you at the beginning that is what you were doing is what you were doing yesterday when i called you right so answer should be i was playing with my friends with my friends right i was playing with my friends so as we know i is a subject helping verb we use was because we have i we have a rule for i we i he she it we have to use was clear so uh, again play is a main verb ing we add it then with my friends is a object clear so this is a positive sentence affirmative sentence how can we change 
the same sentence how can we change let's see that how can we change into the uh, negative one and uh, interrogative one let's see okay yeah see here subject plus helping verb plus not plus main verb plus ing right all right let's take the same sentence subject i helping verb must be uh, was helping must be was then not then main verb was play ing i was not playing with my friends i was not playing with my friends right then questioning one interrogative how can we do that say subject sorry we have to have a healthy verb at the beginning when we will be framing a interrogative sentence that you know right right helping verb plus subject plus main verb plus suffix ing then object yes let's take you you let's take helping verb we have if we take you as a subject we have to have a helping verb work yes were you playing were you playing were you playing with your friends right your friends were you playing with your friends yesterday when i called you right this is the negative structure and this is the interrogative structure i hope you are clear with uh, how we can frame a sentence as past uh, past continuous tense right as we have discussed at the beginning we use past continuous tense to show that an action was continuing in the past for certain amount of time right i hope you are clear with this and based on these structures i just want you to uh, frame some more sentences and practices right uh, see until and unless you practice your own sentences you will not learn anything right if you learn subject helping verb you no know, it will not work subject helping verb not main verb ing plus subject if you have a certain thing in your mind like that or only you are mugging up this you cannot learn see i am just giving this structure to you to know how we can frame the sentences right i just want you to frame the sentences using this so you know uh, structures you know then uh, what you can do you just apply you know, to, uh, like you have you just take your own examples just sit and think yesterday what i what i what, what i was doing i was i was playing i was reading i was like that see uh, you just take yourself you know, some examples you you apply everything on you only right so i was reading i was playing i was talking to my friends i was i was i was then you take instead of i you take you were they like that right i hope uh, today's lesson is clear if you have like you know if you have enjoyed this lesson i hope uh, you like you subscribe and share this videos to your friend right? thank you for watching this video